Check this out. I'm sitting at a cafe working on my latest investigative report, and suddenly I get a message on Twitter. Hi, Elon. How are you? Hello. Can I help you? I'm an American-Israeli journalist in Chicago. Have you seen the news about George Soros? He's donating $1 million to Benny Gantz's election campaign. I'm curious. Link, please. Check this out. The Chicago Tribune is reporting billionaire philanthropist George Soros is donating to the election campaign of the former Israeli army chief. Soros's Open Society Foundations hailing Gantz as a strong voice for liberal values who will lead Israel towards a future of peace with the Palestinians and full equality for the Arab citizens of Israel. It even says Gantz privately promised Soros to scrap Israel's controversial nation-state law and pull Israeli troops out of the West Bank. There's a link to the press release. It looks legit. A dramatic quote from George Soros warning Netanyahu's far-right government will lead Israel to disaster. I've never met Ravit Mizrahi, but she's got hundreds of followers. Pretty too. It's an explosive story, but no one in Israel has noticed it yet. So I've decided to tweet it to my thousands of followers. But maybe this is fake news. Okay, you've nearly tricked me. What happened there? Well, you've been a victim of a cyber attack. It was totally fake. We took a, a, a new Twitter account. We had followers to it. We had a Twitter image to it. Not real followers. These are bots. It's not real followers. It's bots. And you see that most of them are junk followers and not real people. You can see it by the location, by the language, by people they follow, by tweets they share. Once an, a, a reporter gets an interesting news, and it's exciting, exciting personally, he may overlook the details. And a story like this is something that feels real. Yes. You almost want to be real. So this is the, the way that the bot network works. They engage with the relevant people who are most likely to share it without looking into the details. So this person I was speaking to didn't really exist, but it was a real person behind the computer. Yeah, it was me. Usually when there is a sexy article, people don't see the details. But if you look at the detail, you see that is the Chicago Tribune.co not ah, dot com. Not dot com. Yeah, that's right. Now we build the article. We made it look like it's a press release. Everything around the article, the site is real, except the domain is again dot o o r and not dot org. We see more and more fake accounts and bot networks every day. They keep getting more sophisticated and it takes less time to do it. Communit 360 is defending Israel from fake news attacks like these and that was just for show. But if you get a tip off that makes you pull this face, it might just be a dangerous hoax. Elon Levi, 24 News.